What's up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, we talk loadouts. I wanna share with you guys my top five free-to-play loadouts in Call of Duty Mobile. This game is not about money, guys. It's about using the right stuff, the right guns with the right attachments and the right perks. So these are the five loadouts that I'm using right now. I got to Master 5 with Random. I'm on my way to Legendary and I know I will get there with these loadouts. These are the five loadouts I was using on stream this week and on my Ranked Multiplayer videos. So let's get into it guys. And before we start, a quick word about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Guys, Raid Shadow Legends is a dark fantasy RPG. And if you guys know me, if you've been following me before COD Mobile and before Clash Royale, I was playing RPGs on mobile. This is how I started YouTube, by the way. And this is so much better than what I've seen in the past. The graphics are amazing. There's tons of champions to collect. But basically, this game is you collect champions, you build a team, and then you bring them into battle. When you do battle and you beat the campaign, well, you get rewards. You get silver and you get artifacts to upgrade your champions. They also gain XP, they level up, and they get stronger as you progress. So the stronger you are, the bigger the bosses you can beat, and you can keep progressing through the campaign. Now this game has tons of champions to collect and the artwork is really, really crazy. Like I said, it's not childish or cartoonish, it's much darker and I love the artwork guys. They definitely did a great job here and you guys want to check it out for real. It's totally free to download. Link in the description guys. Now why we talk about Raid Shadow Legends today? First of all, it's now available on PC guys and it's cross-platform so you can play at work on your lunch break, on your phone. And when you get home, you can play on your PC on the same account. Next up is there's a new battle pass added to the game. Season 1 battle pass now available on Raid Shadow Legends. I know it was highly anticipated. You get tons of game modes, campaign to upgrade your champions, dungeons. You got faction wars and arena for PvP. And if you guys want to try to beat me, well, you know where to find me. JC Gaming, I'm not going anywhere. So once again, check the link in the description, guys. Download the game right now on PC, iOS, Android. If you use the link in the next 30 days, you'll get a bunch of free gifts in the game for new players. You'll get 100,000 silver, some XP and stuff. But most of all, check out this champion, guys. You'll get a free Adjudicator champion just by using my code. And when you get into the game, it's going to be on the top right there. So simple as that, guys. Make sure you check it out. Let's go back to today's video. So once again, shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go into the free to play loadouts, guys. We got five loadouts to look at today. And once again, free to play. The guns are free to play. The characters are free to play. And I said it, you don't need money to do good in this game. First gun here is the RUS, the old AKS-74U. It's not RUS-79U. Guys, this gun is nuts. If you haven't tried it yet, I thought it was weird a few weeks ago, but the more I play with it and I got used to it, the gun is just super good, guys. And it's totally free. That Aurora skin, you can buy in the credit shop, guys. Free to play. I'm using the rocket launcher as a secondary. And the attachments I'm using, barrel, quick draw, and grip. And it's perfect. You don't need extra mag. This gun's got pretty decent amount of bullets. Now the perks I use lightweight toughness and dead silence. I use lightweight now for the extra movement speed. You don't really need agile. These SMGs are pretty quick to aim down sight. I also been talking to some really good players and they say the same. They really like to use lightweight with rushing SMG classes. So this is my main loadout guys. I use it in team that match pretty much always now instead of type 25. Um, I changed the way I play a little bit and I really, really like it. Now, Dead Machine or War Machine, whatever you like for uh, the Operator skill, but I've been doing great with that one and I really love it right now. Sparrow lost a lot of power lately and nobody seemed to use it anymore. But guys, you have to try it if it's not done already. Now, my second loadout is my Domination loadout. I use the Transform Shield here. I made a whole video about that, guys. I think you need one loadout with the transform shield for when you get into domination. And I like to use the flag jacket on that one also because I like to go and capture the objectives. And when you cap, you're gonna get some grenades everywhere. I think flag jacket is gonna make a difference. You lose a bit of movement speed, but it's really worth it. Now for the primary weapon, I use the type 25 guys. Type 25 super versatile weapon. It's got very, very good close range action. And you can also fight medium range and long range if you get used to the recoil, but it's really good at close range, medium range. 
and the movement speed is pretty good on that one also so i like it for domination guys the attachments for grip quick draw and extended mag you can go fmj if you want instead of extended mag and i use an optic on that one red dot site i like it and once again guys i use a free to play skin here uh, it was available on season one battle pass if you don't have it you can use pretty much any skin the perks on the skins are not making a huge difference and like I said, if you suck, you're still gonna suck with the geometry and you're still gonna die. It's not gonna save you. Uh, you need to play more and get better. Now, loadout number three is the one I use now for search and destroy. I love SMGs and the PDW57 is really underrated right now in season three. A lot of good players are starting to use it now. I use the silencer or suppressor on that one for search and destroy, quick draw and grip. As a secondary, I use a pistol because search and destroy, I don't think the rocket launchers are as useful as they are in other game modes and it's faster to switch weapons instead of reloading. It can make a huge difference. I also use smoke grenade now in search and destroy. If you watch my gameplay, sometimes it's really useful to cross a lane without getting sniped. Uh, again, lightweight and I use hardwire on that one. I don't use it on my other loadouts. But trip mines are more of a factor in search and destroy in my opinion. Now once again another free to play skin. The PDW57 Lunar New Year guys was a free to play skin. You just had to log in 14 days or something for the Lunar New Year. It's beautiful. I love it. And guys PDW57 once again you have to try it. It's a very good weapon and if you get used to the recoil it kills pretty fast. It has more ammo than the MSMC. It doesn't kill as fast as the MSMC of course but I think it's more versatile. Now loadout number four, you have to use a sniper loadout in many situations just to switch and then come back if you're not that good with the sniper. But I like snipers on defense and search and destroy. Once again, I use smoke grenades on that one and the pistol as a secondary. I use lightweight for better mobility because I'm not really camping in the back. And uh, I think this might be more useful to reposition in search. Some guys use lightweight, but more players use agile with snipers for better quick scoping. So I'm not a real good quick scoper anyways, but you guys might want to try agile if you like to quick scope. Now the attachments, suppressor, FMJ, and stock. Uh, stock for better movement, but you can use a mag if you want. Um, and then suppressor, because search and destroy, I love suppressors. And I also use a suppressor on my pistol now about the skin well that was free to play in season two for reaching master but you can also use the deep shark that was free on new year's just for logging in it's one of the most beautiful dlq skins out there and it's totally free so once again if you're free to play you can use some super cool skins now my last loadout is the s36 i almost never use it but it can be very good in specific situations the attachments i use fmj quick draw and fast mag uh, I use lightweight again because the movement speed on LMGs is super slow. So that's going to help a little bit uh, depending on what you play. But once again, I think lightweight is the way to go. Um, I use hardline on that one. I use like it's the only one I use hardline because once again, I made a video on that one. I use it in small maps, team that match. And I don't think that silence is really needed here. But you can go with whatever you like, guys. And that's it for my five loadouts, guys. Once again, AK or RUS, uh, really not. My number one loadout is the one I use the most now. Try a domination loadout, guys, with transform shield. Very useful for capturing B. Uh, you need a search and destroy loadout with hardwire and suppressors. One sniper loadout, very useful in some situations. And S36 or whatever else you like. Um, this one is like open if you want, but I like the S36 right now. I know everyone's talking about the, the S36. I don't want to start a debate right now. It is good, but if you watch my, my videos and my streams, I almost never use it and I don't see it that often. Now, once again, you can use whatever you want here, but it's just the idea. And again, the fact that you don't need money to have good loadouts, totally free to play the skins, the characters and, and the guns. So guys, that's it for today's video. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment below if your loadouts are similar or different. If you want me to try something very, very good that I forgot to talk about, I might be open to try other stuff. So yeah, leave a comment below and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.